This is my lid. Starting from sap green, I have burnt umber, titanium white, then black, burnt umber again. Uh, then I have deep green and then raw umber. This is my mixing palette. I'll start by applying clean water over my paper. I need to create a background which must be very soft. And wet on wet technique is primarily suited for this purpose. So I'll start by applying clean water over my paper. I'll start by applying deep green over my paper in this wet surface. I'll use this layer for lighter areas in my background. For darker areas like around the leaves and for edges, I will make the color dark using raw umber. Smudge the edges since I do not need any hard edges. Later on, I will apply the dark tone near the edges and around the leaves. I'll start with the top right corner with the dark tone. I'll apply the dark tone around the edges starting from top right corner then I will go to the left uh, top left corner and then I'll continue with around the leaves. time for top left corner just make sure to leave some random highlights some white spots so that it looks like that a light is reflecting from distance part started working on the bottom areas near the edges the bottom area needs to be more darker than the upper one since this will be in the shadow edges of the leaves
that is it's fine now i'm done with the background it's time to dry it for drying i usually use a common hair dryer i use that Now we are ready for the next part. I'll start with the leaves. I'll start with outlining it first since I have lost the sketches of the leaves in the near the edges. And then later on I'll start filling it with the deep green. Since this is near edge, it is supposed to be within the shadow. And uh, there could be some reflections as well that we'll do later.
the outer leaf is supposed to receive more sunlight sunlight is supposed to go through it some of it at least which will illuminate the inner areas of the leaf which is why it will appear more yellowish so i will apply lemon yellow in the mid and i will smudge it with the sap green it is still not very much visible in order to make it visible i need to make it more deep also i need to indicate shine as well i'll apply that later too For shine, I am using white poster color. I know many will not agree with me on this. So let's consider this as an experiment and see how it goes. I just got color on my brush and wrapped it over the leaf surface, tilting it a bit more horizontal.
it's a scene in rain and wet leaves looks more deeper in color so i will color them deeper obviously with green
droplets usually appear brighter in the boundary areas and it look deeper in color than the surface in the inner area. Let's do that and see how it looks. I use my painting knife for making rings as it's easier to make it straight. Also it can give you variety as well. The raindrops should appear very subtle in the background and it appears bold in the foreground. It has to be a combination of both but at the same time we must not overdo it since our focus of the painting is leaves. This is the final piece. I think it came out really good. What do you think? Tell me in the comment. Thank you for watching.